Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Animatica 2 Expert Mode series. I am just checking to see if everything, I think everything, yep, everything is still running. We're not, um, we're not uh, using more than, or we're not using more ethylene than we are uh, producing because definitely added more uh, we added more turbines and we can keep adding them but I gotta just make sure we're good so like this is we can put six more speed upgrades in there so that is plenty this one only has enough for three but that's still a pretty decent a chunk and then obviously this we have plenty of room for that I think if anything we'll probably have to add another garden cloche but uh, even that Seems to be uh, doing pretty well. Yeah. So, yeah, that is working pretty well. I am just crafting up a few things here, and that is for this liquid IO circuit board, which is kind of weird. Liquid circuit board? That's a bit weird. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there is the two refined circuit. Okay, so what... I know that's probably just a JEI thing, but why does it say fits one electron tube? And that says three. What is that all about? But uh, yeah, that's that. Ooh, be out of. Maybe that is something I need to <laughs> look into uh, sooner than later. Do these, get these automated. Yeah, because I. I usually just do a bunch of them, but I would like this fully automated. And to do that, I'm going to need four more of these um, because the silicon presses. I don't think I could also throw some speed upgrades in there, but I haven't. There we go. So I haven't checked. We've been at 39 hours for a while. I've actually been it's 16 minutes to do it that fast. So I've actually been using it almost as much as it's been gaining. Um, but we're fine. We got almost 40 hours on there. So fine with me. Oh, how many did I, I needed? I'm not, I'm not making this a, I'm not automating this recipe. Dang it. <laughs> I did one too many. No, that's going to annoy me. Um, maybe we'll use it for something, but I don't really plan on, yeah, see, they don't, for some reason that doesn't, did that say two? Oh, I thought it said two in there, <laughs> but, uh, I don't really plan on putting any fluids in our A system. I'm, I usually stay away from that. Yeah. Figured that would, uh, this would, uh, would scan. So that is pretty cool because those are a bit annoying. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna, <laughs> what we're gonna do with this fluid storage component. Probably just sit in there for a while. But uh, all right, there is that. And I can get rid of that. So question is, I guess we're just gonna continue crafting up some multis today. Uh, maybe, I feel like I should just knock out the rolling machine. Is there anything? Because really, I could end up actually getting rid of these, to be honest, and just replace them with the advanced rocketry. I think, I think the rolling machine actually does like, oh, that's right. It needs lubricant. Didn't we like? Yeah, that's right. This isn't, uh, <laughs> yeah, this isn't. All right, I don't, yeah, I don't feel like, cause we're gonna have to get lubricant. I don't, unless we actually need these, which I'm thinking, yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I gotta look into this. I. Like, I don't mind doing that distillation tower, but where, I have no idea where, where do we get, 
Where do we get oil? I don't think I've seen any of that. Or oil shale. I don't think I've seen any either that. Ah. Huh. All right. See, we're come back to this laser. Maybe I should get this laser going. Overworld. I don't think I've ever seen oil sand. I don't know. I actually, I have, it's not something I've been looking out for, so I actually don't know. But uh, if we need lubricant, and I think we may at some point, um, maybe I should do, I think, man, just like, I'm just umming and eyeing here. I really want to get these built up because these are such fun looking multi-blocks. Uh, the cutting machine is also, oh, this is a really easy one. This is small. All right, let's get a cutting machine and the crystallizer. Let's get these because these are actually really easy. They don't even use a bunch. Uh, this uses 24 machine structures. <laughs> these, uh, these definitely don't. Nothing too bad. No, not at all. All right, so I guess, uh, yeah, let me get some of this. I do need some of the machine things. Um, just kind of one. We need eight for the cutting machine. I know we're going to need, we're eight and eight, basically. Wait, what are we talking about? Four. <laughs> Well, all three would be 4, 12, 36. We need 36 machine structures. Okay, so maybe I should start working on that. Uh, at least get them kind of going. So what are we looking at? Yeah, oof, yeah, lots of iron. Signal, and that's actually lots of... Yeah, this is going to take... This is definitely going to take me a little while. So uh, how many sulfur? I need... I'm still, like, a bit low on sulfur all right let me yeah let me uh, get going here at least with the cutting machine and the other one all right that's a little more <laughs> reasonable um yeah we'll come back and as i was putting recipes in the a system i realized i am capped on channels I threw down an enemy interface over here for the uh, the shafts, and that uh, yep, that filled us up. So I need to before we go any further. I am actually going to have to fix this. Um, thankfully, this isn't terrible anymore. The energy acceptor thing that is still a bit annoying, but uh, not too bad. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, we're going to rearrange this a little bit. That, that, that. And how do we want to do this? We'll probably do, I'm thinking... I mean, I guess I, I don't need to have it right next to that. <laughs> I always do, but there's really no need to place it right next to that. Um, why don't we put this back? I don't know what I... I don't think I broke anything. We weren't using that, I don't think. Unfortunately, that is kind of right in the way. <laughs> uh, I want to have like two. I guess I, I guess I could just. But now I just <laughs> I can't I can't access it because I just turned it off. Um. Let me grab some more. Oh no, am I out? I'm out of resonant <laughs> flux ducts. That's not good. Uh, let me craft some more up. All right, I need to get my ender pearl situation because that was my last ender pearl. I could only craft up six more. Um, I really don't want it like that. 
I'll probably let's do something like even this is not you know what? Alright, no. Could just move this forward one. That would probably make this a bit easier. Why don't we just do that? Instead of like trying to rearrange all that, I could just move move this stuff. Oh, for a second, I just thought that would, like, I just destroyed that. All right, let's do that. That way I can just leave that there and not have to rearrange everything. Um, probably can start getting rid of some of these tables here. I don't really use them anymore. But, uh... Basically, I'm thinking could move this back one. I think that's what I'll do. Yep. Do that. And then I'll put this in the middle. Now Okay, did I? I must have put. Ah, that's right. Right there. I did. I got a energy cell. That's right. Although, that's not ideal. <laughs> because that's not being powered up. I That's right. I needed another energy acceptor. I didn't feel like crafting one up. But uh, yeah, we'll just do, we'll do it like that. All right, that works. Is that how I had it? I think that's how I had it. Pattern, crafting, interface, this tries. All right, I think that works. And we basically just split up. So now we have 16 going on this side and 16 going on that side. So that made that much better. Now we might need to upgrade that, but I think we're okay for the time being. But that will let us throw it down. Need another interface. And I think I'm starting to run low on something. I need to... I usually just manually throw this in the manufactory, but I think it's time to finally only get a recipe. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting everything automated. I should probably be processing the iron and stuff, but for now. Like we're not we don't need thousands and tens of thousands of iron ingots at once, so it's really not that bad. Um an induction. Yeah, that's fine. Usually I don't like cables up here, but Alright, so back I'm gonna need, yeah, both. So insert, output. Yeah, that should work. I don't think I have all the stuff we need for it though. Pretty sure we don't, yeah. So I still got a bunch of things I need to get doing, but I did kind of want to just show how I planned on of expanding the A system a little bit. All right, uh, let me come back. And also really quick, I just wanted to point out I have crafted up a arboreal extractor. They're pretty basic, really easy to craft up. And I'm using this to get resin. 
and uh, totally didn't even think about the arboreal reactor when we were getting it before. But basically, you just place it next to a tree, and it'll draw fluid. The spruce, I guess, is double. Uh, you get double the amount. So I'll just let that kind of fill up. Um, if you put Phytogrow in there, it will work faster. But uh, yeah, we just got this for our the rosin that we need. Um, we just got the resin before in the I forget. Yeah, the resin funnel with the the birch is how we got it before. All the birch over there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, our boreal extractor is much much easier to get in. It doesn't even look like it destroys the. Get out of the way. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it destroys the, the tree, which is pretty cool. And another slight detour, which is pretty typical for Minecraft. I'm actually going to craft up a simple alloy smelter. Um, there are better ones, and you can speed these up quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I don't have... I don't have any of this stuff. So I just did the simple one. I think there is a yeah, I thought there was a quest for it anyway. Um, but the reason I want to do this is because some of these recipes are a bit annoying with the uh, the signalum and stuff. They have three. There's oh yeah, that's annoying. No, and quartz fiber. I mean, I'm getting there with everything being fully automated. Yeah, so Signalum, instead of like infusing it with, instead of doing it this way with the Singit and Destabilize Redstone, I'm just going to do it in here. This is so much easier. Um, and I think you can do that in this in this uh wouldn't that be funny if i couldn't all right well that was unexpected <laughs> uh i didn't know that was gonna happen did you did anyone else know that was affected by gravity also i feel like this is not gonna let me do for some reason i just have a feeling it's not gonna let me do signal them but we'll see There you go, push ball. A recipe. Yeah, although it does show the simple Alice smelter right there, so maybe it will. But yeah, this is just one step instead of multiple steps with the other way. Take nail them. Need to connect. There we go. I needed like eight. Yep, there we go. Unfortunately, it is quite slow, although that's actually not even that's not even that slow to be honest. Um obviously we can put upgrades. We can't put upgrades in that one, but we can in the other one. But uh, all right, there we go. There is our signal. All right. So that is that. Working on it. But yeah, that's that's an issue. Although not really an issue because I have so much redstone now that uh, that I'm just thinking that we could actually put no we can't I think we're out of we out yes I'm gonna need to probably craft up well, if we do a rolling machine, eventually we'll probably do all the plates in the rolling machine. Uh, not there yet, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I still got all those to do. But I think we have a whole bunch of... Let's turn over here. Yeah, we have lots and lots of redstone ore over here. I'll even just throw it in there manually.
Yeah, I need to get more. More speed upgrades. Always, always something to do. <laughs> That's right. I have. Man, it's annoying when just trying to get everything automated. Like that, I don't have automated yet. I have a tank in here. Birch. Um, what am I trying to find? Planks. Oak wood. That's what we have. All right. So there's that. Sand. Sand in a manufactory, right? Yeah. Does this use a lot of power? Not too bad. Not compared to this thing. Holy cow, was that? That <laughs> used a ton of power. Uh, speed upgrades. I just forgot what I was doing there. All right, there we go. Get those going at least. All right. Uh, yeah, let me... Uh, we'll come back. Okay, I th think I have most of the stuff. Uh, holy cow. <laughs> was that a lot of stuff to automate and get done? Um, and I don't even have it fully automated, some parts of it. The cell frames were pretty complicated. A lot of that stuff, it wasn't, I could, I could make it all. I just needed to do recipes for it. So I threw like a hardened cell frame recipe in there and added them to all the filters and just did a bunch of different recipes. I had to do Lumium Signalum and uh, yeah, the one we did don't have is this one. I don't have it set up uh, because I would need to put the ingots in there, the lumium in there, and then this in there. So I just don't have that set up yet. I just manually did it. But uh, yeah, there we go. That is getting that done. And that should yes there is the sweet all right so there is the six thankfully we get six from that oh my god can you imagine if this was like you got one out of this oh my that would be terrible <laughs> but uh and these these definitely can't be scanned right we did try I'm pretty sure we did yep those cannot be replicated but uh yeah i've gotten most of most of it uh, let me make sure I got this right. Input hatch, output hatch, power plug. All right, yeah. Output hatch. No, I don't have recipes for those yet. I don't know if I will do recipes for them. We'll see. Power plug. Nice. And then the cutting. Go. And I did forget we needed to get this saw blade thing. Iron plates, iron rod. Basically just a bunch of iron plates, iron rods. I have a bunch of those. Let's do a bunch of those. And I do need a motor. And we'll just go ahead and continue with that, I think. Steel rod. I need to do rods that's right we change the recipe to the lathe go yeah we're getting there we're definitely getting there is it saw this thing that i mean that was pretty easy there and a motor there's a motor all right nice that's everything um i would kind of like prefer these up top it's because they look so cool actually um i think well i think i might keep these small ones down I don't know. I can always move them around if needed. This isn't the end of the world. Alright. 
So what are we looking at? Output hatch, input hatch, power. We got we want it like Yeah, I think right there. And the input's on that side. Well, the input's on that side as well. That's not That's not too bad. So Is this only like only one this may only be one This is only one layer. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. All right. I guess it's... I could raise it up one. But, uh... There's that. And then... If I want to do the interface, we can do it there. Now, the cutting machine... will do the circuits maybe i should put this up top um but we if we look at that look at how much we get 10 planks from one if we put it through there so that is pretty cool maybe we'll set up yeah i guess we should set up the interface for an interface for the the recipes that we're going to need here should we do I don't know why I'm doing this manually. I could just could have just shift click that in there, but whatever. <laughs> Interface. I need some conduits too to get the stuff out. Man, am I conduits? Just kind of want to see this. An action. All right. So uh, that that yeah. See that's a little easier. I guess we'll have to go underneath. Conduits. And insert. All right, I think that should be it, right? Although, by the time I get back down there, it's probably going to be done. <laughs> so, let's see. Then. Uh, did it go? Did I turn it on? I can't remember if I turned it on. Yeah, well, it went. <laughs> it went so quick, I didn't even see it. All right, but there we go. There is the cutting machine. Let's get, uh, before we wrap up, let's get one more. I am going to have to, probably going to have to, uh, get this stuff set up. It's a 24 machine structures is a lot. Um, yeah, so that's going to take me some time uh, to get, but let's go ahead and I guess we could do, we do this crystallizer. Also, I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to craft up like a bunch of these, um like machine casings and stuff um so i have them in the a system i don't know if there's like i don't think there's like a automated way to replicate stuff is there i don't think so but uh yeah let's uh let me go get the rest of this stuff for this crystallizer and then we'll see what this looks like quartz crystal, but that's not too bad. No, it's just going to take me a second. And this is the final part. Now I'm assuming the coils probably speeded up depending on which one we did. I just did copper. Um, no clue. It is faster or not, but uh, 
yeah, I'm just going to throw this one down like over here. Where do I want to put it? Maybe I'll put them over here. I don't know. <laughs> I always do this. I just can't figure out where I want to place stuff and then I end up moving it. All right, we'll try over here. Visor. I just want to see this. All right, so it's kind of like, yeah, do that. And take a look at that. So crystallizer, output hatch, input hatch. Plug and copper coils. And then I'm assuming things go on the top. What was it to shift scroll? There we go. Yeah, quartz crucibles. I mean, kind of easy to figure that one out. That was all we had left. But uh, yeah, there we go. That looks looks very cool. It kind of reminds me of the immersive engineering multi-blocks. Um, but we are not quite ready for that i just wanted to get it crafted up because we are going to need it uh and as we can see we do get tools oh that's how you get those kind of cool clusters from that but uh pretty sure we basically need it for the silicon tools but uh we'll get into that next uh next episode and uh yeah we can start getting wafers and then we can, ooh, I'm looking at, I'm seeing, <laughs> seeing some stuff here that is other mods that are part of this, but uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, but yeah, we'll do that more uh, next episode. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.